Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a quick overview, first impressions, and what fits in a recent bag purchase that I made, which is this right here. This is the Coach Kip Twin Lock Crossbody. If you've actually seen my wish list for 2023, you would have seen that one of the bags that I was really hoping to see and possibly purchase was actually the Coach uh, Tabby Messenger bag in the smaller size. I think it's in the size 19, and specifically in the natural color, because I saw it it had been released in like a pop-up shop in New York in that specific color and so when the release came out I was really disappointed that they didn't actually release the natural color so probably not the best idea or decision but I ended up just kind of perusing online and so I stumbled across a seller on Poshmark who was selling this specific bag uh, which is of course the color natural so I had actually been eyeing the kip when it was first released and I really liked the bag itself but you know I was kind of humming and hawing and then I ended up missing out on it um, in this specific color I don't believe they make this model anymore unfortunately and last I saw I believe it was kind of a nice deep orange brown leather that did pop up on the coach outlet website however that wasn't the color I wanted I had actually wanted this one in particular in comparison to the tabby messenger actually this is very similar so of course it's in the color that I wanted um, but actually dimension wise it's basically the same it is seven inches uh, in the width it's about five and a quarter inches in height and the only major difference is the uh, depth of it so this one is about two inches wide and I believe um, I can't remember, but it's definitely a lot bigger for the tabby messenger. So still you can probably fit more items in that, but otherwise it's pretty much the same dimensions. And of course there's a lot of other things that I do think are bonuses on this particular model in comparison. So regardless, I am very happy with my purchase and I don't think I will be on the hunt or need to worry about if they do end up releasing the tabby messenger. I think I'm very content with just having this. So I'm just going to do a really quick overview of this particular bag if you're interested. Like I mentioned, because it isn't a model that they create anymore, you definitely have to look on the secondhand market, but I've seen a ton of these, so I don't think it's too difficult to find one. But as I mentioned, the dimensions already. Something else that's different is, of course, the top handle. I think it's just so convenient to have a top handle, you know, whether or not you're place it down and then you're just picking it up again or just you know being able to easily put a crossbody or whatever i think it's just really convenient and a nice touch to have it i also like that it isn't permanently sticking up it easily kind of flattens down when you are using it crossbody or on the shoulder it has of course uh brass hardware so that is a difference i believe the tabby messenger had silver hardware but this has the nice brass hardware that is kind of known for the majority of i'd say coach uh, bags nowadays at least um, and it is a very simplistic turn lock uh, closure on the inside the um, back side of the flap is leather and the interior lining is the 1941 kind of thick canvas lining in the back it has a nice full length slip pocket and on the other side it has two uh, card slots so you can easily go without a wallet if you like but I usually don't prefer that so it is there though and convenient if you would like. Um, one thing to note is it is a little bit, not only is it narrow, but it also has these gussets on the sides, which I think look really nice aesthetically. However, it does cut a little bit further into, I would say the space on the inside, but regardless, I still think it's really nice. And on the back side, it has a nice full length slip pocket as well. Uh, of course the uh, straps are detachable and adjustable uh, they are on the thinner side but i actually really like it um, i think it looks nice with this bag and just overall it's just a very nice classic simplistic look uh, very reminiscent i would say to kind of older coach pieces uh, this was a i think it's like the 1941 but it's the originals line i do have the rambler which was also from the originals line um, and i think these are just a lot more reminiscent to old models that coach used to carry um, but aside from that that's pretty much a general overview of this bag i would classify this of course as a mini bag so it definitely doesn't carry too many things but um, for me, I think it's just the perfect amount if I am going out somewhere, it carries everything that I would need and I will share with you later in this video uh, what I do carry with this. But uh, just a couple things with this bag. Oh, and actually one other thing um, that is also different from uh, the 
coach tabby messenger but something that i also really like about this bag is that the glazing matches the color of the leather so a lot of coach bags i find usually has a very contrasted glazing so it's usually like a black or at least like a dark brown i've seen also like a dark red that sort of thing but what i love about the original signs is that this glazing is the exact color of the leather and i actually just really like that about it. Um, it just is seamless and I think it works really well with this bag. Another thing that I really like is that it has the leather edging. So this is the same as the Coach uh, Tabby Messenger that they've just released, but it has the, um, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> the edge of the bag is leather. It's just leather piece wrapped around it. So it's really nice and I find that's really great, especially when you're worried about cracking or anything like that. I find that the bags that I have with that sort of um, piece instead of the glazing lasts really well in terms of cracking and stuff so I really like that touch for it. So I'm gonna have to do a quick couple of pros and cons to this so uh, one of the cons of course is that it's very narrow so I do find that if it was a little bit um, wider in the depth I imagine you can actually easily fit a lot more items in this um, but that does kind of cause you to limit a couple things because unless a lot of your items are more flatter you kind of have to tetris it and figure that out um, but aside from that there's really nothing else that i'd find a con for this uh, there's a lot of pros uh, like i mentioned i really like how the edges are in the leather there's a lot of details that i really appreciate with the top handle and all of that also i think a common complaint or uh, comment about the tabby messenger is that the strap is not detachable this is detachable so you know you could easily Take this off if you would like and just carry this as a top handle or you can of course put other straps to go with it. There's a lot more options uh, if you would like to kind of switch out the straps with this. Uh, and another thing that I do really like is that it has of course this little attachment uh, at the bottom so the end of the strap doesn't kind of flail around everywhere so I always love when a bag has this additional little piece of leather there and aside from that I'm really happy to say I'm quite short. I'm about 5'2", five 5'3", five and with this strap I wear it in the second shortest hole and it fits perfectly uh, how I like it. But regardless, this does have a ton of different holes for adjustments, so I think it will fit a lot of different people. But moving on quickly to the purchase itself. So I got this off of a seller on Poshmark and it came in like new condition. It came with all its tags. Uh, so it has all its tags with it, including of course the little hang tag. So this is the look of the hang tag for the Coach Originals line and it came attached to it. But I am not going to wear this bag with the tag, so I've just removed it. Uh, and aside from that, uh, after shipping and tax, this came up to about $224 Canadian, so not too much of a deal, I would say, but I mean, it was in like new condition, and it was definitely comparable in terms of pricing that I found online for similar, um, similar condition and this type of model. So. I was okay with that and in the end I was very happy and I guess if you think about it with the price increases and everything if I purchased the tabby it would have been much more it would have been at least double this price um, I think it's a current one $480 Canadian I think it's something like that so I mean now I'm just satisfied with this so I'm just not gonna even bother uh, with the tabby messenger but in terms of what fits in this bag, there's other videos on YouTube that shows kind of what other people fit in it. So I think that's a really great option if you want to see kind of other configurations and other things. But for what I carry with this, uh, on the inside it has of course that back slip pocket. So what I like to do is I like to just use a very compact card holder. So here is my Gucci card holder and I actually like just sticking that right at the back. It tucks away nicely, it's out of the way and then it leaves all this room on the inside for whatever else I need. I also have a flip phone. I have the Samsung Flip 3 and I know that's not the most common phone out there so I am filming on it but I do have this. So normally it's a little bit bulkier but it's kind of like a square almost. So normally when I stick it in it actually takes 
up all of the one side so I would say it takes up half the bag on the one side um, but for demonstration purposes what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this phone case this was my old phone this is a Samsung S10e phone case but I would say it's similar um, in dimensions to let's say like a Samsung Galaxy S23 or whatever that is so very comparable to kind of a normal size phone not the plus size so nothing bigger but the average kind of in between size so i'm going to put that in because i would say that's what the majority of people usually kind of have but as you can see that slips actually no problem uh, in the bag and it just fits there nicely and then we have quite a bit of room here as well um, normally i have um, a very small key fob or like a very small key case, but that is not with me right now. So I'm going to demonstrate with this uh, six ring key holder. This is similar size to a lot of the Louis Vuitton ones, but just for a demonstration, this fits easily in this bag as well. So I'm going to actually prop it up. So it's like that. Um, again, you can fit other things in there, but you still have all that space there and basically what I would do is I would empty out what I normally carry with me in this little pouch I'm going to take the majority of the contents from there and I'm just going to stick it in here so I actually have this little uh, pill container it's actually not for pills um, but I've created it I changed it so it has pills in it it's actually kind of like a lipstick um, the external um, case of a lipstick so like that but if I need that I can easily stick that in uh, you know I have a lip balm right here you can use anything like a lipstick if you needed something like that and then I have just this little eye drop container as well and that all easily slots in there very easily and as you can see there's still a ton more room I honestly don't carry all that much with me when I'm out um, going out maybe for a dinner or something like that so for me this is honestly all i would stick in there and there's still a ton of room on the top or wherever you need and this easily closes and there's no extreme bulging or anything like that so, but that is about it i hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions definitely leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to answer aside from that i do think i'm going to do a comparison with uh, this bag and some of my other um what i classify as my mini or small bags i have quite a few of them but uh i thought it would be helpful if i do compare this with especially the rambler 16 that i have which is also from the coach originals line but also some of my other mini bags as well. So stay tuned for that. But aside from that, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. Um, thank you as always for taking the time to watch my videos and especially those that have subscribed. I really appreciate. Uh, aside from that, I'll see you next time.